Let us continue with our lesson. And in the previous lesson, we have created a edit profile response uh, to get the response back from the server. And whenever we are sending the data, we are not sending any response over request over here because the request is not sending over here because we want to make use of a multipart. So whenever we make use of a multipart, we will be not sending a request from here. So we'll create our own request. So for that, I will go to endpoint first and create a new constant variable over here. And I will just say edit edit underscore DRO if I edit profile equals to the API endpoint. So go back to the postman and select that one. So just copy that section and paste it over here. So this is our endpoint. And the next step is let's go back to the network service over here. We need to create a new function. So let's go down and it should be at post and post should be of our ENDPO and endpoints dot edit profile. Okay. And we need to create a new function. So suspend function of edit ERO edit profile. And whenever we are sending a file to a particular endpoint, we have to make use of or multipart. So multipart means basically we are attaching a file to it. So whenever we are attaching a file with our request over here, because whenever we are sending this request to our API, we are sending it together with a file. So whenever we make use of a retrofit, we have an option to make use of multipart annotation. So I can make use of MULTI multipart annotation, which is, comes from retrofit. So when we say that this is a multipart, now we can upload or we can attach a file to it. So whenever we want to attach a file to our request, make sure we have to utilize of a multipart. And let, let us create our parameter over here. First parameter, we have to pass it as a header. Header is for our, we need to pass a token. So just copy this, just copy this one authorization and just paste it over here and that should be of a string data type so i say T -O -A -A token and it's of a string data type and now we said i have set the header for our authorization we will also set all of the required parameters so id name email and profile image and bio so all of this we need to pass it so let's go back to our ms studio and we have make use of a multipart, so now we can make use of a, multi a part over here. So I can just add part. It's coming from retrofit and part. I just need a ID for this part, and this should be of a ID of a request request body. So I will send a request body from OK HTTP three. And another part I need. Sorry, another at part I want to send each of our name right name and this name is of a name and of our request request body and also I need to send another part so the part part of and this is of a email so email email and this is of E -M -A -I -L email and our request body too. And now the next is we need to pass, if you go over to the postman, we need to pass the image or file. So if we want to pass a file, we have a different option to set. Just copy this variable. And over here, we can, we have to pass a multipart. So I can just say add part, part, then we have to send a particular image okay the variable name is a profile image and this should be of a multi-part body if you see a multi-part body it's okay it will be three just make sure you select this one multi-part body dot part and this will be the file that we will be attaching so this is our file that we want to attach and make sure that the default value for this one is now so sometimes if we don't pass the profile image over here we have to make this as an empty or a null otherwise we must pass the value 
So if you make this part as a null, then we have an option to set it as a null. Because later, if, if, we, if the user doesn't select our profile image or if it doesn't update the image and just update the bio or our email and send back to the server, at that time we can set it as a null. So default value will set it as a null and make sure you do it otherwise we must pass the uh, image over here so if you want to make sure it's compulsory then you can remove this null variable but if you don't want uh, you can have option whether you select user can select the image or if it doesn't update the image so we can set it as a null over here so i hope you guys got it why i set it as a nullable and next is finally we need a last part last part so the last part will be of our bio so bio is the end part that we are sending is of a bio and is of a string data type that we want to send and that's the body part that we want to pass and this is the header okay so i hope you guys got it and it should return our respo and response and it should be of a response of a edit profile response okay so we have created a function that we will be passing as a multipart because we are sending a profile image over here and we have set a profile image to nullable because user may select or update a profile or she may not or he or she may not update a profile so that depends on the file that we are sending so that's why we make it as a null and i hope you guys caught why i said it to now and that's all for this lesson next lecture we're going to create a repository to handle this request so let's meet up in the next lecture till then have a great day